Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. How does it feel to win this award? Uh, insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, so, Martha, how did you find the process of being interviewed by Ollie? Uh, it was it was really good actually. Yeah, yeah, everything that they actually just the judges said was very sensitive, very empathetic, and yeah. yeah, it didn't feel in any way kind of difficult. It was. It's good. It's a good interviewer, actually, is it? It's a good. No. Sorry, we're talking about you like you're not here. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, it's a weird one to, to win an award for. It's Martha's story, and Martha wrote to us, and this is the incredibly powerful thing about podcasting. You know, Martha wrote to the show and said, I have a story to tell. I want to share that story with your listeners, and trusted us to come in and hear that story from her. And... Uh, it's difficult to talk about. We've just come off the stage and we're adrenalised and we've just, you know, people have been clapping. Um, but actually what was brilliant about the way Martha told her story as well is that actually, and you can't say this when you're marketing a podcast about rape, yeah. it was entertaining, yeah. it was compelling, mm-hmm. it was honest, and, you know, able to point out the various things that happened that made you very angry, Martha, but also the, the things that happened that along the way were just sheer incompetence and shocking and relatable. And I think if podcasting is anything, it's about, you know, honestly reaching people. And it was very nice to hear people say that it was a good interview, but obviously without the guest, it, it wouldn't have been. What's been the impact since you've spoken to Ollie? What's been the response? Uh, well, everyone's been really kind. There's been things on Twitter mm-hmm. and, you know, just you know, friends and family. Everyone's been really lovely. And it's, it's really, I'm really happy that it's reaching people. That was yeah. why I wanted to do it. Because as I said in the interview, people just don't talk about this. Mm-hmm. So I really wanted to get this out there to, yeah, so that other survivors feel that they can also talk about it.